Hello and welcome. This is Dee from Crystal Crafts with Dee. I have a quick little video for you just to show you how I organize my diamond dots leftover drills. So normally when I do a budget friendly kit, uh, the leftover drills, I put them in little Ziploc bags and pop them in something like this. I put all my greens together, all my blues together, etc, etc. Because if you have, uh, say, a DMC 645, you will quite often get five or six different shades of DMC 645. So I just tend to put them in their color groupings and go from there. But when I'm doing um, drills from places like Diamond Dots, if you have color 8015, that color should be the same across all of their kits. So I just put them all in the one Ziploc bag and then store the Ziploc bag in like different ways. I've done it a few different ways. This is how I've been sort of doing it. Uh, like this there where you put your collector's cards in and it's like a top pocket there. You put them in a binder. I've just taken these out of the binder actually because I don't know if you can see that but uh, because of the weight being in the binder, they all sort of sag down and they crumple and then the top ones fall out and it was just driving me mad and I've just finished a diamond painting and trying to put them away and I thought, right, that's it. So I'm like, how can I do this that's easy, it works well and it doesn't cost much money at all and it doesn't take up much room. So I would love to have them in beautiful containers and all that, but I just don't have the room or the money for it. So this is kind of what I came up with. So I'm going to take them out of these bags or these sort of sheets, and I'm going to put them in a, an envelope and in a box. So I need to work on these guys. I'll pop them aside. And what I've come up with is, uh, it's a very simple idea nothing amazing, uh, nothing fancy, but um, what I've done is, and that's just a temporary box at the moment, but I thought, how can I, I need like a little envelope to put my little bags in, because if you sit the bags in like that, they just crumple and they fall, and so I'm like, no, that won't work. I need something sturdy, like an envelope that I don't have to spend lots of money on, and I made this little envelope from a packet of these. So these are 11B envelopes. They are self-seal. Uh, you can get these anywhere. I got these at the supermarket. A box of 100 was uh, $4, I think. And um, very simple. I'll show you what I do with them to pop them in here. And then I need to move these to like a bigger box once I get them all kind of organized. So I'm almost done with all of them. I've just got this last lot to do. So anyway, um, I will pop those over there, my container over here. So for this, I've got my envelopes, one envelope, a marker, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. And it's just very simple. Um, oh, and a ruler. I do not measure these absolutely perfectly because I don't really care if they're slightly different. It doesn't really matter. But all I do is I take my ruler and I measure half. So it's about 14 and a half centimeters. And I just mark the 7.2 7 Just draw a rough line through it. It doesn't have to be straight. I'm not really fussed about it and then I just cut it oh before sorry before I cut it um, it doesn't really matter really but I just like to kind of seal the envelope first you can do it after it doesn't matter and I just cut it in half like that and I got the two halves together and that pocket fits my um, Ziploc bag perfectly which is very handy. And then all I do is I write the number on the top. So if I get, take this one here. So color 8004. 
as I say, I've just finished him out of the um, the kit there, and I do have a little Ziploc bag saying 8004. I just pour the leftovers into this little bag, and then um, and then I put it away. And then if I have a new color, which I don't have in my storage system yet, then I make up a new. I just get a zip seal bag. I write a little label. Just use these labels here. They're awesome. Slap her on the Ziploc bag and you're off and running. So 8004 and all I do is write on the top 8004 and then I just pop him in. Too easy. Ta-da! <laughs> nice and easy. And then I pop her in there in my container and that's it so um, the next one is what's the next one next one is 8005 same thing let's put on the top 8005 and plonk him in they don't need to close on the top because i was sort of looking for envelopes that sort of closed on the top but they don't need to be closed easy enough to find them um, that's it it's too easy and it didn't cost me much money at all and I just pop them straight in the container so that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment is um, sorting them out that way and I'm just finding it's a lot easier because these bags they're a great idea and I love the fact that I can see the colors when I flip through my binders but they just crunch they fall and these ones at the top they just fall out that's why I put a big bulldog clip on the top they just fall out and it was just driving me crazy so I'm like that's it I'm gonna find a new way and this seems to be working so uh, what I have done is I'll show you there um, we just my son and I just got a few different pairs of shoes actually and I thought oh I could just pop them in there so I've got them in here um, just like that so when I finish a color I say okay I've got color uh, 8339 I'm all finished it's my leftover drills so I just pull out 8339 pull out my bag which will be a different color obviously open up the ziplock bag pour her in put her back in and pop her back with 8339 so I think I'm going to use this um, this shoe box actually because it keeps them nice and compact and I can put a divider of something I'm not sure what cardboard divider in the middle and I've got two rows that fit absolutely perfectly so that's kind of how I'm rolling with this and then I'll just show you what I'm doing with this one here uh, now for my ABs, I actually do store them in these containers uh, because I do use them for a lot of projects. So I do put my ABs in here. And then these two, these are the most used colors that I get in Diamond Dots, 8412 and 8001. And uh, I'm just putting them in these containers just because it's a bit easier. So that's kind of how I'm rolling with that. So I'm just going to pop him back in there so I don't fall over. Um, yeah, so that's just a shoe box. Didn't cost me anything. And then I have my envelopes. Cost me $4. Now, I haven't even used the whole pack yet and I'm almost finished. So that's a, that's a bargain. And it works. Too easy. So anyway... That is kind of how I'm doing my diamond dots leftover drills it's a pretty simple cheap easy way to do it but anyway that's how I'm doing it so hopefully that will do the trick and um, I can kind of do this nice and quick and easy and it doesn't take up much room so I'll probably only need two of those shoe boxes and I do have room for that so anyway that's my little idea thought I'd share that with you uh, if you're looking for a cheap easy way of storing some of your leftover drills. So thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time.